Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to the Saturday Night Update. Uh, Earthmaster on this end of the microphone, February 10th, 2024. It's about 9.47 p.m. here in the state of California. Latest earthquake activity looks like a 4.0 earthquake coming in just now off the uh, northern edge here of the Cascadia subduction zone. We'll get to the earthquake activity here in just a minute. Uh, still looking at uh, elevated space weather activity here. In the last couple days, looking at potential G1 class storming here over the next couple days as uh, we're getting some, uh, looks like some CME activity coming in unexpectedly. Uh, that's what uh, Kevin here is saying. They weren't really calling for any um, CME activity, but it uh, looks like we're getting a little bit. So roars are in the forecast for now, and it looks like we are seeing a little enhancement here across the higher latitudes in terms of the solar um aurora activity potential so if you've got clear skies get out there and uh see if you can see any green up in the sky maybe it's some yellow some pink all right uh what else we got here i'm um, still seeing a lot of proton activity here in the polar regions uh that uh, looks like that's continuing there mainly across the southern polar region here some high uh, energy protons being shot off from the flaring activity over the last few days uh, we did have another Close to the X flare category, a pretty large M flare, an impulsive event, it looks like it. An M, let's see what that was. That was an M 9.0. And that is from, well, that's from this large sunspot region here, 3576. So it looks like that's starting to gear up a little bit. Uh, still got a uh, potential here of seeing some larger activity within this core. We do have a couple trailing sunspots around the bend. Uh, that may pose some harbor or uh, harbor some flaring activity as well in the coming days. So overall threat looks like 99% chance for a C flare. M flare at 60. X flare has been dropped here according to the uh, SolarHam.net site. Although the main culprit there it looks like 3576, that large active region that is currently in the Earth directed view, uh, is the um, the most potential there for some strong flaring. All right, earthquake activity. Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, this earthquake way up here, west of Vancouver Island range, looks like that came in a couple hours ago. Not for sure why it's shown up here on the uh, Earthquake 3D globe there as a newer event. But, uh, yeah, it looks like it came in, at least according to the USGS here, about two hours ago. So an older quake, but not for sure why they're just now adding it onto the globe. Either way, some activity stirring up out there off of the um, northern edge here of the Cascadia subduction zone. It looks like it's in the Tucker Seamount area, um, somewhere out here in the Pacific and the oceanic crust out there. As uh, far as the uh, rest of the area, let me check out the trimmer map here tonight and see what we have for his Cascadia trimmer. Uh, a little bit up here in Vancouver Island range and some down in Northern California here. This is trimmer down into the uh, the deeper regions here of the Cascadia subduction zone that extends here from Northern California all the way up the Oregon coast, Washington coast, and the Vancouver Island ranges and uh, ends roughly out here across the, uh, uh, close to the Queen Charlotte Sound. We have been noticing uh, when we get trimmer activity here in Northern California that it uh, is quickly follow followed up by earthquake activity. And tonight uh, and today is no uh, exception there. We do have uh, some earthquake activity specifically in this area southern edge here of the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, this one, latest one, uh, is down there somewhat, about 23 kilometers into the, uh, into the again, the southern end here of the Cascadia subduction zone. So we'll continue to watch that. Definitely seen some uh, activity stirring up out here. Uh, throughout the Pacific Northwest, uh, looks like we have a 2.1 here outside of Mount Rainier. Of course, uh, in the Cascades, been seeing a little bit of earthquake activity. As far as California goes, a handful of movement, uh, smaller quakes there outside of Reno. We're really not seeing any major elevated activity here across the Los Angeles area where they did see that uh, that four-pointer here a couple days ago. But take a look over here. Got a little swarm kicking off here. Remember I said to watch for this? And uh, sure enough, it keyed up pretty quickly here following that four-pointer uh, yesterday. So... Uh, the southern edge here of the Cascadia or the uh, San Andreas Fault 
This here is the extensional plate boundary called the Brawley Seismic Zone, which extends here into the Imperial Fault. And of course, that goes further down here. We have been noting a uh, decent swarm of earthquake activity out here. Been saying to watch this region here uh, along the plate boundary here over the past couple days. Of course, we did see some movement there outside of Malibu. And now we got, uh, a, you know, a decent swarm out here in the uh, Salton Sea area. This is a region here that... Uh, gotta watch because it's very close to the southern branch here of the san andreas fault and this thing is uh really wound up about as tight as it can be uh it is really compacted there and the pressure uh when it's released is going to generate uh, roughly about an 8.1 earthquake here across southern california and that is uh that is a realistic magnitude it's not fear mongering it's not stretching the truth it's not you know, putting fear in the people. This is just scientific proof that, or scientific uh, information that geologists, seismologists claim uh, that, you know, there's enough strain built up out here for an 8.1. So when we see earthquake activity out here, very close, going to have to wonder here, are we getting ready to, to see this thing pop? We have seen swarms in the past, but got to keep a, keep a key eye on migration here of the swarming. You know, it, it may not be triggered by a couple ones or twos, and it may not be this swarm, but it might be the next swarm that triggers it. So it's always good to be aware uh, and not complacent. You know, a lot of people brushing off uh, this activity there across Malibu here recently. And uh, it, it's not just Malibu area. We've seen elevated movement down south. Now up here uh, in the Salton Sea area over the last couple days, movement up north. So all this region here has been heightened and uh, continue to leave the earthquake watch up there for Southern California. Uh, Southern California uh, because of the uh, newer movement down here across the Salton Sea area. Looking at some of these earthquakes here, uh, nothing to write home about, right? No big earthquakes. Looks like the swarm kind of started off here with a 2.8, little separate area down here. Uh, and then we've seen some migration a little bit further up along the plate boundary. So if you think about it, you know, we really don't want to see this come undone like a zipper, right? But you have to keep in mind here that this thing's been building up steam well over 300 years well over 300 years we've covered that a lot and we'll continue to cover that and uh, one day we'll be covering the big one out there uh, in the southern california area so be prepared um earthquake activity in texas typical movement out here you know i don't see anything abnormal and i say typical because on any given um go back to the map here where's our map there we go on any given day here, we see uh, earthquakes outside of Pecos, Texas, and this is nothing new. Uh, just a lot of swarming going on out here in the oil fields of western Texas. A lot of wastewater disposal ponds, that's what these are out here, and a whole bunch of tanks, holding tanks there for the, uh, the oil. All right, uh, what else we got here across the area? Yeah, just a couple odd earthquakes, right? Even up north here, so... Got to pay attention to what's going on here. It's been very active globally here recently. Uh, one earthquake here in Mauna Kea. That's fairly deep, though, about 16 kilometers deep, far as the Pahala area. And that uh, earthquake there from yesterday. Still seeing a decent swarm here, but this is one of those regions that have been swarming and uh, been studied since the late 70s. I'm not even joking here. This is not new, but it does have to do with what's going on down below the area where all the trimmer activity is taking place there in the Pahala Sill um, complex. Magma kind of moving between the, uh, the layers there. Uh, and then it gets funneled up into uh, a couple different volcanoes, Mauna Loa being one of them and Kilauea Volcano. So we got to watch these volcanoes in the days and weeks ahead obviously right we've seen a a big push of magma from the summit region to the southwest rift zone and now i i think it's following a trail of activity towards the loihi seamount uh, if you look at the last seven days or so you can see all that earthquake activity and then stretching out here across the region uh, so we'll continue to watch that and uh, report back on anything that changes out here which uh could definitely change here soon uh, all the volcanoes across the uh, the states there, lower 48, are clear and green. I was just up at Mount Lassen today checking that out. A lot of snow up there. Um, yeah, beautiful. A lot of uh, beautiful scenery up there. Unfortunately, uh, the fire they had a, a couple years ago got into the national park, so a lot of it is burned up. 
But uh, there's still a lot of snow up there. Uh, far as the earthquake activity around Kilauea Volcano, let's see what we got. Do we have these working today, um, tonight, as far as the seismograph stations go? I'm just kind of curious because I like to see and review them, right? Uh, what is going on here? I click on it and it doesn't want to... You guys see that? What is up here? Is it only that station? <laughs> oh, man. The USGS here has had some issues with their site recently. I'm not for sure what's up. It's like a magic trick. Click on this link and watch it disappear. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to do that too many more times because it's starting to get a little annoying. Let's see if we can open that up in a new tab. Um, okay, what does that have to do with anything? That's a little weird. All right, uh, are these tilt meters working at least? Uh, looks like these are still, um, offline. Because we did have a, a, a pretty good drop in the inflation there across the, um, summit region following that five-pointer yesterday. Uh, but it hasn't come back. This is still data from... It shows the 9th here from yesterday. Um, I, I'm not for sure what's going on. It's a weekend. I don't know if any uh, IT people are going to be looking into this. It'll probably be Monday uh, when it gets fixed. But I'm not for sure what's going on with these, uh, these seismograph stations here. It's just a little weird. So, uh, hopefully they get that fixed. Here's a Hot Capes Hawaii station. We'll have to watch out for some live activity. A little quake coming in right now. Uh, but again, we'll cover this and uh, keep an eye on uh, the volcano out there. Volcanoes. All right. What do we got here for the rest of the uh, world here? Mostly, uh, let's zoom in here and see what we got. I think this is mo mostly older quake activity. Uh, most recently, some movement up here in China. A small amount of movement back here across Japan once again. Uh, kind of alternating, though, between this area and that area. Not a whole lot uh, further across the Java Trench uh, for now uh, in terms of larger activity. But there is some smaller movement out, uh, out here across the Java Trench area. Uh, let's see. Deeper activity here across the Mariana Trench. It's fairly deep. Almost looks like we're about ready to have a big earthquake somewhere. Uh, anytime California gets elevated like this uh, and the squeeze happens in the middle with kind of what's going on with Hawaii, uh, one or the other is going to show some uh, um, potential larger movement here. And we have seen it hit up north here before as well. Uh, we've seen times like this where it's uh, very active on both sides, bouncing back and forth here between activity and uh, Alaska will have a big earthquake. So... Uh, definitely looks like things are gearing up towards something much bigger happening here soon. I just can't put my finger on it, but I'd say uh, we need to watch this here for some larger activity soon. Um, movement across the Middle America Trench, quite a few threes. South America here, uh, what do we got, fours and twos. A little four-pointer down here off the, off the tip. Doesn't, wow, okay. Not for sure what's going on here, but no one wants to report on the uh, earthquake activity there. This is all from the EMSC model, so a little bit of activity, but uh, apparently nothing big for now. Uh, the Atlantic Ocean fairly quiet, and the Mediterranean regions here uh, seen some slight uptick with some fours, threes, and twos out there. Uh, a quick glance at the Iceland activity. I know we've been kind of watching this, seeing if this is going to gear back up. Again, it's a little early. Uh, I think we need to watch the inflation chart here uh, over the next couple weeks and see if we uh, repressurize the area below uh, in terms of enough volume of magma to create uh, further fissure activity, eruptive fissure activity in the region. Right now, uh, not a whole lot of earthquake activity happening there, but we'll continue to watch that. Um, what else do we have? I think that's about it, folks. I'm just going to go to bed here and... Uh, call it a night kind of late been a long day um a little bit snow blinded there's so much snow up there it's i forgot to bring my sunglasses and uh you know walking around in the snow it's uh it can definitely blind you out there uh, so next time i gotta remember to bring my sunglasses all right folks uh be on guard stay alert out there in terms of the uh earthquake activity there in southern cal 
Again, it's not just localized to this area. We're looking at a broad regional stress out here across the West Coast. I know a lot of you know people don't like to uh, uh, believe in that, but uh, we're seeing that firsthand from yesterday to, uh, to today um, in little different swarms here. And this is the one I'm more concerned about down here across uh, the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault. Uh, severe weather. We've got a severe weather potential out there tonight across Texas. Seen some uh, severe weather popping up here recently out there. 2% uh, zone of tornado activity, wind, and uh, some big time hail going on there across um, uh, highly populated regions there of Texas. So just, just a heads up there tonight. Probably a little noisy out there. Uh, numerical models. Let's see what we got here. There's that storm system uh, kicking up there across Texas. West Coast, our next storm system looks to be a little weak one coming in about the 15th. Uh, after that, we'll start to see a little bit stronger storm systems here impact the West Coast with some decent uh, moisture coming in there to the uh, Southern California area. Once again, those rainfall rates are quite impressive. Uh, after that, looks to uh, continue and continue for a little bit until looks like maybe towards the end of the month we get a little break there between the rain. So we'll continue to watch that and report back on this here. Uh, but either way, it looks like most of the weather models are uh, in agreement with a wetter pattern kicking up here across the uh, west coast. Uh, weather radar, is this working out here? Looks like it is. There's all that storm system uh, keying up right now. These are all individual cells, so got to watch out for those. Sometimes we'll see those. Uh, those are the ones that really produce the large hail and the potential tornado uh, activity. But it looks like this is going to be a pretty much a squall line that's going to move east and create a whole bunch of noise out there throughout the evening. Uh, quite a bit of lightning associated with this uh, band of rain. Uh, aside from that here, folks, a little quiet out here on the west coast, but uh, that won't be the case for long. Have a good night. I'm out of here. Uh, we'll catch you guys back out here tomorrow morning, uh, which is Sunday. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe and like. And uh, feel free to comment in this video or on any video. And uh, we'll catch you guys back out here tomorrow morning sometime. Stay safe out there.